We're with Dr. Eli Gold, Sydney dentist for over 40 years. The Kids Post. Welcome back to the Kids Post channel. When should you take your child to the dentist for your first time? The first time that a child goes to the dentist would be from about two years of age. By the time they're two years of age, they've got most of their first teeth. The very last molars come out about two and a half years of age. So I think at two, they're very able to go to the dentist, sit in the chair, have a ride, and basically all they would need to do is open their mouths and let the dentist have a good look at them. It can be fun, and they're not, they're not in pain, so they can treat it as a game. A dummy or pacified bad? It's not a problem to give a child a dummy when they're very young, as long as there's no honey put on the dummy or any sweetener because those sweeteners absolutely destroy teeth. Mothers come and say, oh, the teeth came out this way with holes, and I say, unfortunately not. It's because there was honey or chocolate or anything on the dummy. The other thing with dummies is that it's better to wean the, the child off as soon as possible, because what dummies do is they make the maxilla push the teeth out. If you're sucking on something all day, whether it be a finger or a lolly or something, you are actually forcing the teeth to be protruding. I would suggest that if babies are still using dummies at three years of age, then the parents should start putting money aside for their child's braces as they get older. Which foods are the worst for kids' teeth? Any sweet food and sugary food is problematic for kids' teeth. But kids being kids, they go to parties, they, they eat foods, and as long as you clean their teeth, or the best trick that I usually tell mothers is to give them some water straight after they've had some sweets. Because the water dilutes the acid, it's the acid that makes the hole in the teeth. The no-no is the all day sucker where kids just put in their mouth and they're constantly sucking on this. That is like drowning your teeth in acid. And we know what acid does to most uh, materials. So chocolate isn't as bad? Chocolate is not bad, cakes are not bad, anything you eat is not bad as long as you clean it off the teeth. If you leave it on the teeth, the bacteria will convert the carbohydrates into acid and that is what makes the holes. What about juice? The problem with concentrated juices is that they're full of sugar. And if, if a child is drinking concentrated juices all the time, this is doing a lot of damage. Fizzy drinks, you don't want that on the teeth. That is what will destroy their teeth. And what about fresh juices? Fresh juices are fine, and there's nothing wrong with drinking um, juice, concentrated juice. You just don't want it on the teeth all the time. That is what causes the problem. And, and to be honest with you, the simplest thing is clean teeth do not decay. Thanks for joining us today. For more tips and a great read, head to our website to purchase Dr. Gold's book, How to Put Your Dentist Out of Business. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.